Hello, and welcome to the installation experience video for Print Audit Konica Minolta Embedded. Today, we will be exploring the installation and configuration processes of the application. Before we begin, I would just like to point out that Internet Information Services, or IIS, has been installed and configured on the system. This is a requirement of the Konica Minolta Embedded application. Print Audit 6 has also been previously installed and licensed, and is a requirement as well. Please refer to the documentation on www.printaudit.com for a full listing of requirements. The Print Audit Konica Minolta Embedded application is available on our website. Once the requirements for installation have been met and the application file has been downloaded, the first step in the process is to run the Konica Minolta Embedded Setup file. Click Next on the Setup Wizard to get started. After accepting the license agreement, click Next. An alternate application location can be specified by clicking the Browse button if desired, or accept the default location by clicking Next. Select the website name where the Konica Minolta Embedded application will be created. Default website is the recommended, but alternative sites can be supported as well. However, additional port considerations need to be taken into account when configuring the device. If using the copy, scan, and fax tracking functionality, select Enable from the Print Audit 6 drop-down, then enter the IP address or hostname of the system running the database communicator service. The default port and connection timeouts do not typically need to be modified. Click Next. If using the Secure application, ensure the Enabled option is selected from the Print Audit Secure drop-down. Enter the IP address or hostname of the system running Print Audit Secure and click Next. Enter the IP address or hostname where the installation package is being installed and click Next when finished. Enter the credentials used to access the Print Audit Embedded for Konica Minolta configuration portal and click Next when finished. Select the appropriate region from the dropdown, then click Next. At this point, click Install. The installation may take a few minutes to complete. When the installation is complete, click Finish. Next, configure the Konica Minolta device in the Print Audit 6 Administrator by launching the Administrator tool and selecting Embedded Systems from the left-hand pane. Click on the New button in the toolbar and select Embedded for Konica Minolta from the drop-down. Click OK. Enter a meaningful name for the embedded configuration. To obtain the serial number information, launch a web browser and enter in the Konica Minolta device's IP address. Authenticate with the device's administrator credentials. Back in the Print Audit Administrator, paste the serial number into the Serial Number field. If there is already a printer entry for the device within the Print Audit 6 Printers list, you can select it in the Report as Printer field. Costs for operations performed on the Konica Minolta device through the embedded application are set under the Pricing tab by double-clicking the entry. Each type of activity can have its own price. Under the Prompts tab, the information prompted for on the device can be set. I have selected the Client Code field to be presented to authenticated users. This is an optional step for recovery functionality. Once finished, click on the Save button. Next, the Konica Minolta device does require some additional configuration. To perform the configuration, access the device's embedded web page by entering in the IP address of the unit in a web browser. Select Administrator, log in with the administrator user credentials.
Once authenticated, navigate to Security from the top menu. Click Create a new registration. Select Create and install a self-signed certificate, then click OK. Fill in the fields with the appropriate information. Set the validity period to 3650 and click OK. Click OK. Click on the Security and under PKI Settings select SSL Setting. Change the SSL TLS mode using the drop-down to Admin Mode and User Mode, or Enable, depending on the device. Click OK. Click OK. Click on Network. Select TCP socket setting. Enable TCP socket, use SSL slash TLS, and TCP socket options. Click OK. The device will require a reboot for the change to take effect. Log back in using the administrator credentials. Click OK. Select Open API setting and set Use SSL slash TLS to SSL only. Set the port number to 50003. Set all certificate verification level settings to Do Not Confirm and the client certificates to Do Not Request. Click OK. Click OK. Under Network, expand WebDAV settings. Click WebDAV Server Setting. Make sure WebDAV Settings is set to On. Click OK. Click OK. Next, under Network, select Web Browser Setting and ensure the Web Browser option is set to Enable. Click OK. Click OK. At this point, browse to User Authentication slash Account Tracking from the top menu. Under Print Without Authentication, ensure that Print Without Authentication setting is set to Full Color slash Black. Click OK. Click OK. Click Log Out. Click OK. After completing the server-side software installation and device configuration, we can deploy the application using the Konica Minolta registration webpage. A link is located on the desktop called Konica Minolta Embedded Configuration. After launching the Konica Minolta Embedded Configuration webpage, authenticate using the credentials configured during the initial installation. Ensure the settings under the Communicator and PA Secure tabs are correct. These should be the Printout at 6 Communicator information and the Printout at Secure Server, respectively. Be sure to click the Update button if making any changes to the configuration under either tab. Click on the Registration tab and enter in the IP address of the device to deploy the application to. and enter in the administrator password for the device. Click Register. The application may take some time to successfully register and will display Application Registered Successfully if successful. If an error is encountered, please refer to the troubleshooting guide available on our website or contact support at printaudit.com for additional assistance. That concludes the installation and configuration of Konica Minolta Embedded. For further information, please refer to our knowledge base and technical documents on www.printaudit.com.